Carl Quain, as we all know by now, was a clone that defected from the Galactic Republic after the Battle of Geonosis and lived peacefully with his family on a farm on the planet of Seleucami. Carl was later found by Captain Rex, who eventually left him and his family to stay together without turning them into the Republic. But what if Rex wasn't the one who found him, but rather Commander Cody? Would the same thing have happened? So to start things off, we first have to know what the difference in personality is between Rex and Cody. Rex was a clone that was very eager to follow orders, but would also care for the well-being of his soldiers. As the war progressed, Rex would take a less rigid approach to following orders and even went as far as to removing his own inhibitor chip, urging others to do the same, others like Commander Wolf and Gregor. This change in attitude was largely due to Rex's experiences throughout the Clone Wars as well as his abstract personality. One of the most defining points of his life was the Umbara campaign, where he learned that some orders could be wrong and should not be followed. All these experiences made Rex who he was and continues to be. Cody, on the other hand, was a clone who was straight to the point and he showed that, his most visible trait being his loyalty toward the Republic and his fellow soldiers. He followed every order he was given and made sure that he led his men with an iron fist. He didn't tolerate screw-ups and demanded perfection from his men. However, despite these vast differences, Rex and Cody were great friends that had different views and approaches to life in general. This made the dynamic between the two very interesting throughout the Clone Wars, as although they were polar opposites in their command style, they both somehow complemented each other and their friendship prospered for the majority of the Clone Wars. With all of that said, I think it becomes very clear that Rex and Cody were very much different types of soldiers and had different ways of handling things. This leads us to the question, what if it was Commander Cody who was sent on the scouting mission on Seleucami and wounded in the exact same manner Rex was? After being wounded, the same events would have theoretically played out, and like Rex, Cody would have ended up in Laquane's farm. After recovering from the initial shock, Cody would have instantly realised that Laquane was a clone and would be on the verge of contacting his troops. With that said, before doing this in my opinion, Cody would have still had dinner with the family and would have heard them out. However, knowing the type of soldier Cody is, no matter how much he liked Cut and his family, he would have still turned him into the Republic. Even though deep down there may have been a sense of guilt and shame, to Cody, betraying the Republic was worse than death, and if he ever did betray his Chancellor, he simply couldn't call himself a true soldier. Cut's fate of course would be much worse than the slight sense of guilt Cody would have felt, and he would inevitably be court-martialed and likely sentenced to life imprisonment or even death for his perceived traitorous acts. In my opinion, Cut got lucky that it was Rex showing up on his doorstep rather than Cody. Although both quality soldiers, Rex was always naturally fair and a little rebellious, much like his commander, Anakin Skywalker. Cody on the other hand was devout to the Republic and a relatively strict commander, who would not shy away from discipline if he deemed it necessary. Which leads us to our prediction on why Cody would have likely arrested Cut rather than let him go. Well enough of my thoughts on the matter, it's time to hear yours. What do you think would have happened to Cut if Commander Cody showed up? Which other clone commanders, in your opinion, would have done the same as either Rex or Cody? Let me know below. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to join the wider intergalactic community on our website, Discord, and Instagram.